Hey everyone, it's me, Anime Game Nerds here. Now, I haven't made a kill a kill video in a while, but I just watched episode 17 through 20, and I feel like just giving my initial thoughts on them. Now, I think the last episode of Kill a Kill I review was like episode 12. I will probably go back to reviewing the series, like the final four episodes. But yeah, this is my more so thoughts on them because I think things have gone quite interesting. Like, I'm not going to talk about like some of the episodes I didn't review, like I believe 13 through 16. This is going to be through 17 through 20. Got that? Now, I'll start with the big one. The more so twist that Motoy and... Fuck. I always forget names when the moment I need to for review. Hasakitsuki. I'll have their sisters. That is a pretty good... That, I have to admit, was a pretty shocking twist. It, it definitely caught me off guard. The second thing I also want to mention... It's fuck. Oh yeah, it's about Sakitsuki rebelling against her mother. I'm going to be going more in depth with the whole siblings thing later, but I want to quickly mention Sakitsuki actually rebelling against her mother. So far, this this whole plot twist, that plot twist with Sakitsuki actually wanting to kill her mother, that actually might be my favorite part, my my favorite more so moment in Kill a Kill. And the more and more I think about, the more and more it actually made sense. Like, like for example, on how, on how like if Ryoko could defeat all of these more so, defeat like the Elite Four during more so that tournament, she would tell, Sakitsuki would tell Ryoko on what's going on since the Elite Four knew the truth, and she was looking for the best soldiers. That's why she got the members of the Elite Four, so she could. Have help when it comes to, so she can be ready when it comes to taking down her mother. That actually makes a lot of sense since if Ryoko could defeat her best four soldiers, she'll uh, she will want her assistance. And thinking about all this more so makes Sakitsuki my favorite kill a kill character. She most definitely is. Now this whole thing about Sakitsuki and Ryoko being siblings. This was a pretty shocking plot twist, like, it's probably the biggest thing to happen in Kill a Kill yet. And, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Is it just me, or the, does their mother, I believe her name's Ragio, or however you pronounce the name, am I the only one that she, that gets reminded a lot of Gyokin from Magi? The two characters are very similar. They're both major antagonists in their series. They are both a mother of one... Of more so one of the main characters, Ryog Ra Ragi Ragi or however you pronounce the name is the mother of Sasuke and Motoko and Motoi, while Gyokin is the mother of Hakiru, one of the four main characters of Magi. And get this fan off of me. So, yeah, so and. They more so have like this more so evil task to fall on a worldwide scheme. The only really key difference is the fact that Gyokin is a part of a more is part of a group Alphamin, which Alphamin is more so the main antagonist through Magi. They're just the main antagonist in general the series. Gyokin is pretty much the member of Alphamin that we know probably the most about that's still alive. And while Ragio, or however you or however you pronounce the name, yeah, I'm butchering names left and right. She is the leader. She's more so the boss of everything. Like she's like the big bad of the series. While Gyokin is one of the more so main. While one, she's one of the main bads. She's more so part of the really of it, if that makes any sense. But yeah, those she. Their mother reminds me a lot of Gyokin from Magi. I won't lie there. The next thing, like, also, I do find pretty cool seeing, seeing the fact that now New Speech and and the Elite Four have to work together now, which it, which, yeah, they pretty much have to at this point because they have the same goal, goal, and 
without each other, they'd be fucking screwed. Both sides would be screwed without each other big time. What else was there? Oh yeah, there was a the whole thing about the toy now wearing Jungetsu. This was an ink this I find to be very fucking interesting, like something I really didn't expect to see at all in Kill a Kill. I didn't expect it to go in this direction. And I am looking for this fight between Matoi and Sakitsuki, especially how Sakitsuki is now wearing Singitsu. I have a feeling that once when I have a feeling Sakitsuki will defeat Matoi and Matoi will she will be the one to more so convince Matoi to go back to her original self along with Singitsu. Then then I have but I'm wondering what's going to happen with Jungetsu. Like, will it be destroyed or will Sakitsuki be the one to wear it? This, I am really am wondering, trying to figure out what the hell's going to happen there. And, yeah. Overall, I really, really enjoyed all four of these episodes. Will Kill a Kill become, like, one of my favorite animes? Pfft. No, it's like... It's a good series, but being par of my favorites means it'd be on par with series like, say, Code Geass, FMA Brotherhood, Death Note, One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, just those series, and Kill a Kill isn't reaching their point at all. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts on those episodes. If you guys... What were your guys' thoughts on them? Give me your thoughts down below. If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. If you want to see more content like this, sub to me. And yeah, I'm Amit Gamer. It's signing out. Peace.